Welcome to the XFL Simulated on EA Sports, and today we are kicking off Week 9 with an XFL West matchup between the Dallas Renegades, who are 0-8, hitting the road to take on the 6-2 Houston Roughnecks. Um, definitely a lopsided matchup today. The Roughnecks, they've had an incredible season. Their offense, their defense have been stellar pretty much all year long. Meanwhile, the Dallas Renegades, while they have a pretty solid defense, this offense cannot find a way to win ball games. It doesn't matter how good their defense does, they just can't seem to close out anything. Houston Roughnecks come around the field. This home crowd is ecstatic. They are pumped. Houston clinched the playoffs last week with a huge road win against LA 27-13. Meanwhile, the Renegades lost on a safety last week to the Seattle Dragons 5-3. Um, that, that was a wild finish. Um, and again, I mean, Dallas, their defense only gave up three points and they still could not come away with a win. Let's we'll see what they can do today on the road against a very hot, very intense Houston offense. Andrew Jones, I mean, he has not been the type of quarterback Dallas expected him to be. Week 9 getting ready to get underway in the XFL simulated. Looks like Houston is definitely going to keep their starters out there today. Why not try to get them some more playing time or continuity. Sergio Castillo kicks it away. That's Austin Walters to receive and he'll take it. Oh, breaks a tackle. Great return all the way up to the 35. And that's where the Renegades will get the football. Landry Jones, he's had a very underwhelming year for the Renegades. He started weeks one to three. He played really bad. They took him out, put in Philip Nelson for four and five. He did even worse. Jones came back in week six. He played pretty good, but the last couple weeks, seven and eight against Tampa Bay and then against Seattle, he's been awful. Last week, coming off a of performance seven for 16, only threw for 88 yards, and he threw a pick. Um, and this is why the Renegades can't win games. Their quarterbacks have really, really struggled. And sitting at 0-8, we'll, we'll see if they can even get a win this season. First and 10. Off play action. Jones to throw. Pressured. He'll go down on the first play. That's DeAndre Nichols with the sack all the way back to the 26. So the Renegades, right off the bat, move backwards. Nichols comes in from the safety position on the blitz. What a play. Hopefully we can get another angle on this. Nichols had a huge play last week against L.A. Um, he, he picked up the fumble that DeMarcus Gates forced and took it back 90 yards to give Houston 24-13 lead here. Opens up the game with a huge play. Jones had time to get rid of it, but Nichols gets in there. What a play. And again, this Roughnecks defense has just been really solid all year even in their losses to Tampa Bay and DC their defense has not given up much at all now second and 18 the good field position kind of gone to waste already see what the Renegades can make of it Cameron Aris Payne gets the give and not really anywhere for him to go maybe a gain of one or two now look at the Renegades offense it's a real shame that they're 0-8 because well, this offensive line has been solid um, they've been okay, but look at the weapons. Cameron Rush Payne, he's been a pretty solid back. Lance Dunbar's in there, and then wide receivers. You have Jazz Ferguson, Jeff Bidette, Joshua Crockett, Flynn Nagel, all guys that can make plays, and Donald Parham, one of the best tight ends, definitely the best tight end in this league. Through seven weeks, uh, through eight weeks, 39 receptions, 504 yards, and two touchdowns. He's been electrifying. Third and 17. Big blitz from Houston. Barely gets the throw off, and that is caught! Unreal catch by Jeff Bidette down to the 45. How in the world did he catch that? Jones just flung it up into triple coverage and Jeff Bidette. What a ridiculous grab. Look at that. Over two defenders. Somehow he brings it down. I am, That is one of the best catches we've seen this season. What a play by Jeff Bidette keep this drive alive on third and 17 it looked like Jones was ready to get rocked again but Bidette steps up and makes a huge play and heads up to Jones for getting that throw off first and 10 they'll pitch it to Caminara's pain he's got a little bit of room gain of about three now we're gonna take a look at the rough next defense Corey Crawford is the guy I mentioned every week and rightfully so he makes plays week in and week out Demarcus Gates huge force fumble last week that really helped Houston win that game. 
Jeremiah Johnson, DeAndre McColes, these guys have all made plays this entire season long. The Roughnecks definitely championship material. They clinch the playoffs. And honestly, I mean, with the way Seattle and LA have been playing, I mean, I think they can easily make it to the championship. Without a doubt. Second and seven now from the 42. Off play action. Jones to throw. That's complete. Donald Parham to the 36. Actually, that's Jazz Ferguson, excuse me. Third and two coming up from the Roughnecks 36. Ferguson and Parham are both big guys. Third and two. Let's see if Dallas can pick up another third down conversion. Off play action. Jones in trouble. He's going to go deep and that's almost intercepted. Overthrows Chef Fadette. Jatrick McColes looked like he had a chance at it. Now it's fourth and two. It's going to be a tough call for the Renegades. Jones, he had his man. Just overthrows him. And again, this is what this is the problem that Jones has had all season long. Um, if you look at his stats through the six games that he's played, he only has 54% completion, 54% uh, completion, um, 1,080 yards, five touchdowns, six picks. Not very good stats. They are going for it on fourth and two. Why not at 0 and 8? Artis Payne gets the carry, and it's going to be close. I don't think he got there. He did not. And they go for it on 4th and 2, it does not pay off. So the Renegades had a couple decent looking plays there. They cannot turn it into points and Artis Payne unable to get to the sticks. And honestly, if he would not have cut back, if he just plowed straight through that, I think he would have had a chance at it, but a great tackle made by Gabe Wright. And now, PJ Walker coming out. What a heck of a season. For Walker, definitely the league's front-running MVP right now through eight weeks. Um, he's thrown a 74.3% completion rate. He's the first quarterback to over 2,000 yards, 2,088 on the season. 15 touchdowns, only two interceptions. I talk about MVP performance from him. See what he can do now. First and 10 from their own 35. All the receivers spread out wide. Walker to throw. That's complete. Nice gain, that's Khalil Lewis on the reception. Gain of about five, second and five coming up. Walker last week, exceptional day. 22 for 30, um, almost 300 yards, threw a touchdown. He was huge in that win over LA. And he's just a guy, he makes plays. Second and five now from the 39. Off play action, Walker. Across the middle, that's complete. Nick Holly. Up to the 47, Holly. He's a guy. He has so much potential, and uh, coming. In, he had so much potential coming into the league, and he's lived up to it. Um, he's leading the league right now in receiving yards. 44 receptions, 533 yards, two touchdowns. He's been outstanding for the Roughnecks. First and ten from the 47. Walker to throw. Plenty of time. We'll just check it down to Butler. That doesn't go anywhere. Great tackle made. That's Deron Smith. Getting in there for the stop. Second and 14 coming up for the Roughnecks. So the check down doesn't work out at all. Negative four yards on that play. And Deron Smith, definitely an underrated safety. I mean, he's made some exceptional plays this season. And it is a shame, again, that the Renegades are 0-8 because they have a lot of solid players. And it's just the fact that these quarterbacks can't get things going when they need to. Second and 14 now from their own 43. And that's Butler getting the carry. He'll be met right away. Gain of about two, but that's another big tackle. That's Deron Smith again. So Smith involved in two big plays. And now Houston started to get a couple nice plays. And now they're backed up at third and 12. See if they can convert. They have plenty of weapons. Camp Phillips, Nick Holly, as we mentioned, Sammy Coates, Khalil Lewis. See what they can do here on third and 12. Walker to throw. Dallas brings a blitz. Walker, he'll go down. Taken down by Joshua Thornton. That's a big sack, and the Renegades will get the ball back. Walker, he had plenty of time to throw. Couldn't find anyone. Comes back to haunt him. Thornton gets in there. Does an excellent job getting in there on the blitz. And taking down Walker, who is a mobile quarterback. Fourth and 19. 
Austin Reco obviously going to come out for the punt. And we'll see if the Renegades offense can finally get things going. I mean, that's what we've been saying all season long. Can they actually do it? Reco punts it. Nagel back to return, but this punt's going to go too far into the end zone. Dallas will get it from their own 20. Last drive, they started with great field position. Jeff Bidette had a wild catch. But they still couldn't get any points. They went for it on fourth and two. It didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. Landry Jones on his second drive. To see if he can do something to help this Renegades offense get into a rhythm. I mean, week six, they looked pretty solid against DC and just at the end couldn't come up with anything. Week seven against Tampa Bay. Um, they did not look very good, but they had so many chances, squandered all of them. Last week, same thing. Can they finally improve on that this week? First and ten. Cameron Otter's pain with the give. Taken down right away. Gain of about three. Second and seven coming up. Harm was not targeted last drive. Definitely expect to see a lot of him. I mean, again, over 500 yards receiving on this season so far. Second highest of any player in the league. Second and seven. Back to the ground game they go. Nowhere to go. Who else but the Andrew Nicoles to make a big stop. I mean, this guy, he just makes plays already three tackles on the day. He is one of the best safeties in the league. Week in and week out, he is creating stops, creating tackles, creating turnovers for this Roughnecks defense. And the Renegades now backed up at third and nine. And honestly, this has been something that the Renegades have struggled with. Not letting Landry Jones throw until third down. He gets into a rhythm much easier when he can throw on first and second. Jones to throw. To the sidelines. That is caught. Hauled in by Jazz Ferguson. Big reception. That's a first down. Nice throw from Landry Jones. Brings him up to the 45. And Jones puts that one on the money in between the two closing defenders. Eugene Harris and Ballard. But what a, what a nice grab by Ferguson. Hangs on with the contact. And the Renegades get another big third down conversion. See if they can actually turn that into a, a full fuller drive. First and ten now. Back to the ground game they go. Artist Payne. Gained about three. Bring up second and seven. Artist Payne, honestly, he gets going so much better when they let Landry Jones throw on first and second down. Because not only does Jones get a new groove, but then Artist Payne just has it easier throughout the rest of the day. Second and seven from the 48. They'll try a screen. That's complete. But that maybe gets it to midfield. Third and five coming up. Under a minute to go in the first quarter and still no scoring from either team. Big third down for the Renegades. Can they pick up another one? See what Bob Stoops calls. Off play action. Under heavy rush and he'll go down. Corey Crawford with the sack. All the way back at the 42. Crawford, he's been outstanding this season. He had three sacks in week six. A couple sacks over the last couple weeks. Gets another big one there. Corey Crawford. I mean, look at look at this Roughnecks defense. The Asher Nicole's Corey Crawford. Those guys definitely defensive MVPs. Without a doubt. And Dallas, they're gonna have to punt again, so neither offense getting things going here. We'll see if they get the punt off before the first. Probably not. They will not. That is the end of the first quarter. Gallows will have to come out and punt in just a second. But that is the end of the quarter. 0-0 zero, zero here in Houston. See what the Roughnecks can do on their second drive to improve them on the first. They got a first down. It's hard to move the football. But then the, the big tackle, a couple big tackles by Deron Smith pushing back. They weren't able to get past that. Fourth and 13, Gallup's quite obviously going to come out for the Renegade punt. Which is a shame. That's two nice throws Jones has had. But they haven't been able to put drives together. 
He'll send it away. Sam Mobley to receive. And he'll be met right off the bat. Good tackle by the Renegades. And Houston going to have to work from their own 13. So this Houston offense, um, we haven't gotten a look at it yet. Um, but James Butler, he's been a solid running back. Um, third... Third place right now in the league, rushing yards, 535. He has four touchdowns on the season. Wide receiver, as we mentioned, Nick Holly, he's been incredible. Cam Phillips, 36 receptions, 435 yards, and five touchdowns. Khalil Lewis had five receptions, 76 yards last week. They have a lot of weapons. First and 10 from the 13. Walker to throw. Plenty of time. Across the middle, that's complete. Sammy Coates in the reception, brings it up to the 26. Nice gain on first down. And again, Houston's ability to move the football is almost unmatched in the league. I mean, the only other offense that I think can stack up against Houston is St. Louis. I mean, last week we saw them. Los Angeles could only put up 13 points despite all the weapons they have. First and 10. Butler gets the give. And he's got room to the outside. James Butler with a first down and plenty more. 20 yards on the play up to the 46. And Butler... He's, again, he's been an effective running back. This offensive line has done a great job giving him holes throughout the season to run through. Does a great job there. Butler gets to the outside. Plenty of space for a nice gain of 20. And Houston, um, something that they have struggled with earlier, in like the, especially in the first half, is moving the football but not being able to score or come away with at least a touchdown. They struggle with that. See if they can change that on this drive. Butler, this time he's met right away. Second and nine coming out from the 47. And Houston, they do not have any tight ends on the roster. They are just straight up spread them and shred them. And it's worked very well for them this season. Second and nine now from the 47. Walker will throw. He pumps. Now we'll just check it down. That's caught. That's Marquez Williams out of the backfield, but only a gain of one. So Houston, two nice plays, but now they're stuck at a decently long third and eight. See if they can convert and finally try to get some points on the board. Third and eight coming up from their own 48. Walker to throw. Lots of time. He's going to go to the sidelines, overthrows his man looking for Sammy Coates. It's incomplete, so the Roughnecks going to have to punt the football again. So we've seen both offenses move the football to about midfield, but then they can't get past it. And Walker, he's been very accurate with the football this season. 74% completion percentage. Um, but that throw, one of the rare ones that gets away from him. Austin Recco has to punt it away again. He'll boot it away. Flynn Nagel back to receive, but this is punt is going to go too far again because the Renegades will get it at the 20. It's a matter of time before one of these offenses scores, hopefully sooner than later. Because we've seen both of them move the football, but almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter, and it's still a 0 0 ball game. And Landry Jones made a couple good throws this game made a couple bad throws and that's just the story of his season make a couple nice plays and then he'll just do something that really messes things up he has not turned over the ball yet though first and 10 now from the 20 Jones to throw pumps it under heavy pressure he's gonna go deep down the field overthrows his man looking for Flynn Nagel solid coverage by the Roughnecks Jones, again, um, on the deep throws, he has been very inaccurate. Um, most of his interceptions have come from throws of 20 or more yards. And he's got six of those picks on the season. Second and 10 from the 20. Artis Payne gets the carry, makes a nice move up to the 27. Gain of seven, and now Dallas third and three coming up. And the Renegades right now, they're 0-8, but, I mean, at least a morale booster here. If they can get a win on the road against a much better Houston team, that would at least give them some hope to look forward to for next season. Third and three. Jones to throw. Across the middle. It's dropped. Cameron R's pain can't hang on. 
he would have had well enough for a first down, but he let it go. That is devastating. I mean, look at that. Right in the numbers. And Artis Payne can't hang on. Those are the types of, of mistakes that Dallas has made this season. It's no surprise while they're, uh, the fact that they're 0-8. So, Gallant's to punt it away again. Three punts. It's He's slow getting it off. Barely gets it away. That was very close to being a block. Fair catch by Mobley. First and 10 for Houston now at their own 23. The Roughnecks, they've moved the ball effectively, but no points. Um, they've stalled out midfield twice. Got to figure out some way to change that. And again, um, as we mentioned, they, this is what they've struggled with. Really the second half of the season. Week 6 against New York. Um, week 7 against DC. And even last week against LA. Um, their offense has really struggled to get going up until the late third and then the fourth quarter. Still no points for the Roughnecks despite some solid plays. First and 10 from their own 23. That's Butler with a big hole. Nice gain on first down. Gain of 8. Second and 2 coming up. Butler already over 30 yards on just 4 carries. Great day for him so far. Second and 2. Renegade's defense has done a good job of not letting Houston get any points. But it's only a matter of time. Second and 2. Walker to throw. Across the middle. That's complete. Cam Phillips' first reception of the day, up to the 48, gain of 17 on the play. Cam Phillips, one of the best in the league to do it. He's got five touchdowns on the season, 435 yards, now he's up over 450. Just such an excellent receiver. Wide open. P.J. Walker makes another beauty, beautiful throw. First and 10 now from the 48, and again, Houston, they have easily get it to midfield. Can they finally get it into Renegade territory is the question. In motion is Coates, will he get the playoff? They won't, and that hurts. Cannot do that, Walker. And now after the nice play, they'll be pushed back five yards. So first and 15, that hurts. Walker called Coates in motion, doesn't pay off. June Jones, though, um, what an excellent job he's done in Houston, just building this team around P.J. Walker and, and the and the passing attack that they have, but also at the same time allowing James Butler to do what he does. First and 15 now. Can they get some points on the board? Off play action. Walk with a whole lot of time. Pressured. He's gonna go down. Taken down by Winston Craig all the way back at the 34. That's a loss of 10. So Houston again. Making a couple nice plays and then going backwards. Winston Craig with the penetration right away. Walker did not see him coming. That's a 10-yard loss and now the Roughnecks. Second and 25 coming up. So neither offense doing much today. At all. Second and 25. Five minutes in the first half. No points. Walker on the draw. He gives it to Butler. Breaks a couple tackles, but will be taken down to 39. Third and 20. Houston. They're going to need a miracle to get this first down. See what June Jones does if he'll play a conservative or try to get the first. Walker is going to throw. Under pressure, he just has to get it off. That's dropped. Sammy Coates can't hang on. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway, but Houston's offense having a hard time. And Coates just. That, he rarely drops those, but lets it go right through his hands. 420. And now Houston punting it right back. So again, both offenses very lackluster here in this first quarter. The first half. Reco punts it away. Flynn Nagel to receive. Oh, and Houston's going to get a good bounce on that one. 
downed inside the 10 at the 7. Nicely done by Ryko that time. It doesn't go too far. And we'll see if the Renegades can finally get something going. Artist Pain, not the best day on the ground, but you can't blame him. Because Jones, uh, defenses know that Jones is not much of a threat, and he should be. Landry Jones coming into the season was supposed to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He has been nothing of the sort. I mean, he only has a 65.8 QB rating in six games. Not very impressive. First and ten backed up with their own seven. Four minutes. Can the Renegade take a lead before half? All play action. Jones, heavy pressure. Barely gets it off, and that's knocked away. Burnett in coverage. That was dangerous. Jones almost taken down for what could have been a safety. Second and ten coming up for the Renegades. Bob Stoops. His team's 0-8. He, he needs to just clean house going into next season if the Renegades want to win. Cameron Artis Payne on the draw, and he's got a nice hole. Artis Payne brings it up to the 14. So third and three will be coming up for the Renegades. See what they can do offensively to try and get something positive going. I mean, they've just struggled all season long. Jones to throw. Pressure. He'll go to the sidelines. And that is complete. Nice grab by Jeff Bedett. Up to the 34. Gain of 20 on the play. Nice work. Jones puts it on the money. And Jeff Bedett with a nice reception. Bedett, he's had a pretty solid year. 27 receptions, 310 yards. Now with a couple catches this game, he's up over 350. What a nice grab on the sidelines. And a good throw from Landry Jones. First and 10 from their own 34. We're at three minutes. Dallas still has plenty of time. They're gonna to wanna to run this clock down and try to score. To the ground game they go. Artist Payne, gain of five. So now Payne finally averaging over three yards of carry. He's got some nice gains on this drive. Second and five. Time is starting to become a factor though. So the Renegades gonna to wanna to factor that in literally. Getting close to the two minute warning. They've got to get into Houston territory. Second and five. Back to Artis Payne they go. I don't like the play call. Good tackle made by Gabe Wright. Um, but this is what Dallas does and they struggle with. They run on first and second down. They don't let Jones throw the football. And we have hit the two minute warning here in Houston. Zero, zero ball game. I don't know. I think it's just something that has to do with the Renegades. They just, whoever plays against them, it's a low scoring game. Um, Dallas is, um, they've only scored more than 20 points once, well, 20 points this season, which was in week one. Since then, they haven't scored more than 14. Jones to throw. That is knocked away. Huge hit from Corian Ballard. Joshua Crockett can't hang on. That would have been a first down. What a massive blow. I hope we get another angle of this. That was pretty crazy. Crockett got absolutely blasted by Cody Brown. Fourth and six, and what do you know? The Renegades have to punt again. A couple nice plays, and it doesn't turn into anything. Both these offenses struggling. Another slow punt. Barely gets that one away. Can Dallas get a good bounce? Look at a decent one. Down to the 13, so Houston has to go quite far try to score the Roughnecks they've done it before they march down nice quickly and efficiently see if they can do it here I mean this offense they they have all their starters out there against the worst team in the league and they still have zero points um, I mean they're in the playoffs they don't have their foot completely on the gas but you want to keep it somewhat on the gas you don't want to lose any momentum going into the playoffs so that's you know you're going to be playing some solid teams. First and 10 now from their own 13. He'll motion Butler out. 
Walker to throw. Across the middle, that's complete. Cam Phillips off to the races, taken down at the 30. Gain of 17, Phillips in stride, breaks a tackle. Nice catch and run. Walker on the money with that throw. Hey man, these, these cameramen are having hard times today getting the right angles. We see a lot of black screens. Apologies for that. But Phillips, nice grab. And I mean, he's got Josh Hawkins on him. Hawkins, Dallas' his best cornerback, but he has struggled this year. First and 10 from the 30. Walker, get this play off. They're going to give it on the draw. Butler goes nowhere. I Again, I don't like those play calls when they run in these situations where there's not much time. It rarely fools the defense. And now you're losing over 30 seconds of precious time for only one yard. And you're still deep in your own territory. Walker's got to get these plays off quicker. Getting close to a minute. Walker to throw. That's complete across the middle. Khalil Lewis, only a gain of four. We're at a minute and one second. Houston will call a timeout. 0-0 zero, zero here in Houston. Both these offenses struggling. All receivers spread out on third and five from the 35. Walker to throw. That is complete. Cam Phillips with another big reception, up to the 48. So the Roughnecks now back to about midfield. Can they finally push it into Renegade territory? Cam Phillips, another nice reception. This guy, I mean, again, he just makes plays. First and 10 coming up from their own 48. I mean, all they need is a couple more plays like that. They still have a timeout, and they'll be able to at least kick a field goal. Walker to throw. Lots of time. Now, just dump it off underneath. That goes really nowhere. Clue Lewis on the catch. That is not what Houston needs. Only up to the 50. Time is ticking. Reflex offense definitely not looking as good as they did last week. I mean, we're down to 30 seconds. I, I don't know what... What this wait is about. Second and seven. Walker to throw. And he'll just check it down again. That's off the helmet of Phillips. Roughnecks offense looking pretty messy. Third and seven. They still have not been able to get it into Renegade's territory. 21 seconds. If they can at least have like a 20 yard completion here. Take a timeout. They can keep field goal. Third and seven. Walker to throw. Lots of time. He's going to air it out and go deep towards the end zone. Taking a shot. Knocked away. Looking for Cam Phillips. Good coverage by Tenny Adewusi. And Houston stalls out again. Walker, I mean, that's a pretty decent throw. Put it where he had to put it. Phillips almost had a chance at it, but it's just a better defensive play by Adewusi. Making sure that Phillips couldn't make a catch on that ball. Fourth and seven. Houston going to have to punt. 0-0. Zero, zero. Boring game here in Houston. Reco punts it away. Nagel back to receive. Decent angle out of the 11. Not like it matters. Jones only has 8 seconds to try to figure out something from his own 11. I'm probably just going to kneel it out. Unless they're gutsy enough to try to just call something. And they will kneel it. Jones takes a knee, and that's how we're going to go to halftime. 0-0 here in Houston. Both offenses looking pretty lackluster, and honestly, if Houston looks like this after clinching the playoffs, it's not a very good sign. I mean, Walker made some nice throws, but they have struggled. 0-0. See who can score first in this Texas throwdown.
Welcome back to Houston, where the hometown Roughnecks still are scoreless, but so are the visiting Renegades. Back in week four when these teams played each other, Phil Nelson, um, that was his first start, and he played pretty poorly for Dallas. Houston controlled that game. They won 26-7, but this game here at home, I mean, they defensively, Houston's done a great job, but offensively, P.J. Walker has struggled to get things going. Houston will receive the football. I'm sure June Jones laid into them a bit <laughs> in halftime. They're going to want to improve on that. Austin McGinnis. He'll kick it away. And it's almost like starting this game fresh. That one goes out of the end zone. 0-0. Zero, zero. Both these teams, it's almost like they just have two quarters in another separate game. P.J. Walker coming back out with his offense. He's got to do a better job pushing the ball down the field. Um, he's made some nice throws. Cam Phillips has had a few nice receptions, but Houston has zero points on the board, and they're playing an 0-8 team with most of their starters out on the field. Um, first and 10 from their own 25. All the receivers spread out. Walker to throw. That is dropped. Incomplete, looking for Khalil Lewis. Right in his hands, can't hang on. And I don't know, Houston looking pretty shaky today. They've not seen much offensive um, efficiency at all. Second and 10 now. Butler gets the carry. Butler with the hurdle. What a move by Butler all the way down to the up to the 38. One heck of a play by Butler at that. Gets him a first down, might give him some momentum. What a play. Butler using his athletic abilities to break tackles and then hurdle over a defender. That's exciting football. First and 10 coming up from the 38. Walker to throw. Plenty of time. He's just got to throw this football. He will. That's complete. Sammy Coates on the sidelines. And they finally get into Renegade territory for the first time today. Sammy Coates. Nice grab. To the 47. And Walker had a lot of time. It was about time he found somebody open. Sammy Coates. To the sidelines. Nice gain. And Houston's offense finally getting a couple a couple things going there. <coughs> <coughs> no, I do not have COVID. Um, first and 10 from the 47. Walker to throw. Heavy pressure. Just throws that one into the ground. Second and 10. Dallas has done a good job, though, getting pressure in P.J. Walker's face. And he definitely has been off balance this entire game. Second and 10 from the 47. Walker to throw. Incomplete, not a good throw. Looking for Coates, but very inaccurate. And again, Houston gets to midfield and they're stalling out again. Walker has got to find a way to get his team a first down and get themselves into scoring range. Third and 10. And they give it to Butler on the draw. I do not like the play call. Only a game of three. Fourth and seven coming up. And what do you know? The Roughnecks are going to have to punt it away again. It is pretty crazy that both these offenses have been able to get to the 50-yard line. And then just can't do anything. Very strange. Fourth and seven. Austin Recco to punt it away again on Houston's first drive. a high kick. Flynn Nagel, fair catch at the 20. So that punt only goes 24 yards. And Houston cannot make anything happen. Landry Jones coming back out for his first drive of the second half. Again, he has really struggled this game, last week, the week before that, all season. 
But a big opportunity for him, for him right now, if he can give Dallas the lead. First and ten from their own twenty. Jones will give it to Cameron Artis Payne. Makes a move, takes it up to the twenty-five. Nice game. First down, second and six coming up. And this is where you've got to let Jones throw the football. I if they go back to the run game, Houston's gonna see it coming. Artis Payne will probably won't gain anything, and it'll be a third and six. I mean at least that's what has happened most of the time this season. Second and six. Back to Artis Payne they go. And he does break a tackle. Takes it up to the 29. So third and one for the Renegades. And honestly, they'll probably go back to the run here. But yeah, it is pretty surprising how bad Dallas's offense has been. This season, they only have 74 points on offense through eight weeks. Artis Payne does get the carry. He's got a big hole. Artis Payne all the way up to the 40. Let's go, let's go. First down, Renegades. Cameron Artis Payne having himself a solid day against a good Houston defense. Cameron Artis Payne getting the job done on the ground. It looked like he got well past that 40 yard line. But they down him at the 40. First and 10. Will Jones get his first throw of this drive? He will. To the sidelines, that is complete. Nice gain on the play. Jazz Ferguson, he's had a couple nice catches. Makes another one there. Up to the 48 of Houston. So Dallas now moving the football well. Can they finally put some points on the board? We're getting close to halfway through the third quarter, and there is still no scoring. First and ten. And they'll screen it out. Lost the ball. It's a fumble. Picked up by Houston. Unreal. Corey Crawford with the recovery. That was a backwards pass. Threw it backwards, Ferguson couldn't handle it, handle it, and that ball was on the ground for a long time, and Corey Crawford comes out of there with it, but yeah, Ferguson looks like he did have possession, so it would be a fumble either way. So Houston gets the ball back, so wow, it is unbelievable that neither team has been able to push it past somewhere between the 50 and 45 yard line. And now, Houston with great field position, they've been able to move the football well on the first few plays of their drives. Maybe that'll finally push them into scoring range. From their from uh, the Renegades, 47. Great field position to start. Walker gives it to Butler. And he will fight his way all the way down to the 40. That is the furthest the Roughnecks have gotten the football all day long. Second and three. Now you get the sense that Houston can use this to finally score some points. We'll see. Second and three, coming up from the 40. They just need another first down, another couple yards, and they can at least kick a field goal. Walker to throw. Lots of time. He cannot take a sack here. He will, all the way back at his own 49. Unreal. This is what has been happening all game long. These quarterbacks just take big sacks. They make big, bad throws, bad plays. What is Walker thinking? That is Gerard all the way back. Back into their own territory. Tony Garrard. Big sack for Dallas and now the Roughnecks. Third and 13 and just like that, they're going to have a hard time scoring once again. This is just a game where neither team wants to score. Third and 13. Walker to throw. Plenty of time again. He'll just check it down. That's complete to Nick Holly. Not near enough for the first down. And, well, Houston will be punting the football again. These teams just cannot get past midfield. It is insane. They are doing everything possible to not getting into a scoring position. 
Adewuzi eats that one up. Holly, not a chance to get to the first. Offensively, a, a relatively boring game. But if you're a defensive stud, you are liking what you're seeing. Fourth and nine. Austin Recco, he'll punt it away again. Another high kick towards the sidelines. Not the worst. I mean, could have been better, but he gets them at the 14. Dallas will have to start from inside their own 15. Unbelievable that the Renegades are still in this ball game. And, uh, kudos to their defense for doing a solid job. This is what they've done, though. Um, against DC, they play pretty decent defense. Um, against New York, against Tampa Bay, and against Seattle. Really, just this entire second half of the season. Only DZ has scored more than 20 points against them since... Uh, with teams playing against them in the second half of the season. First and 10 from the 14. Jones to throw. Across the middle, that's complete, but not really much for Joshua Crockett. Four yards, second and six. These offenses just look really out of sync and just not not making very imp many impressive plays at all. Lots of fans leaving the stands already. Second and six. Jones the throw. Across the middle, that is complete. First down, Jeff Bidette, up to the 26. And Houston's offense has struggled in the second half of the season. I mean, I mean, I mean, opening up week five in the second half. Um, well, actually, week six kicked all the second half. And yeah, their offense struggled against New York. They struggled against DC. They only put up ten points. And then Los Angeles had played good in the fourth quarter, but it took them to the fourth quarter to finally score some points. First, first and ten. Landry Jones takes it and. Interesting play call, gain of three. Second and seven coming up. But yeah, back to um, Houston. I mean, going into the playoffs, if they're playing like this, not very promising for a Roughnecks team that's six and two. Second and six. Second and seven. Jones to throw, heavy pressure, dumps it off to Artis Payne, who's got a lot of room to run. He'll bring it up to the 39. Gain of 10 on the play, first down. And right now, I'm just waiting for another first down and then another stall out. I mean, that's just what has happened this entire game. First and 10 from the 39. Jones to throw. Houston brings a blitz, so check it out, and that is knocked away. Artist Payne can't hang on after the hit. Crazy. We're going to be going into the fourth quarter. It's still a 0 0 ball game. Second and 10 from the 39. Jones back to throw. Across the middle, that's complete. Donald Parm's first reception of the day. First down up to the 50. Gain of 11 the Renegades. Once again, they're at midfield. Watch some weird fumble, or just bad throws, or just bad play calling. Keep them from getting into scoring position. Unless they'll finally prove me wrong on this drive. We'll see. First and ten. Jones to throw. To the sidelines. Did Ferguson get it? He did. Jazz Ferguson. Beautiful grab on the sidelines, gets his feet down and brings him all the way down to Houston's 36. Jones, nice throw, and yeah, the toe tap from Ferguson. Way to get those feet down. Looks good to me from what I could see. First and 10. Can the Renegades finally score some points? Off play action, Jones, lots of time to throw. Who does check it down? Incomplete. That was a dangerous throw. Second and ten. And honestly, right now it is up to this offense to give themselves a lead. I mean, 
29 seconds in the third quarter. It's still a 0 0 ball game. Camerard is paying with the carry, and he'll bring it all the way down to the 29. So Dallas almost a guaranteed field goal here, unless Landry Jones takes a big sack, which would not be very surprising. Third and three. Time taking down the third. Will they have enough time to get this play off? Third and three. They will not. They'll just let it run down to the fourth quarter. Zero, zero here in Houston. Renegades finally with the best drive of the game for either side. Third and three. All lanes are all right now. They could just cannot take a big sack or turn over the football. So we'll see if they decide to do one of those things, or if they decide to pick up a first down, or at least keep themselves in field goal range. Third and three. Jones to throw. That is complete, Donald Parham, but he can't get to the sticks. Fourth and one coming up. Good tackle made by Galen Burnett. Parham gets the reception, but honestly, it's just a great open field tackle by Houston. Parham is a big guy, but could not break that tackle. So Austin McGinnis, most likely coming out to finally get some points on the board. 44-yard field goal attempt. Can we get some points? The kick's up, and it is good. Dallas has a 3-0 lead, and we finally have ourselves some points. It's about time. Good kick, just gets it in there. McGinnis gives Dallas the lead, and now Houston down 3 0 at home in the fourth quarter. They've gone three quarters without scoring. Will they have some fourth quarter magic again and take the lead? I mean, they've done it pretty much every game this season. They've had solid fourth quarters. They need one right now. McGinnis kicks it away. Sammy Coates to receive. Decent return up to 25, and that's where Houston will start with the football. Right now, everything on P.J. Walker. I mean, Houston has been playing with their starters against the worst team in the league, and they're losing the game 3-0. I mean, maybe they're just coming off of the high of making the playoffs last week, but June Jones has got to figure out some way to get P.J. Walker into a groove. Walker has not looked very good this game at all. First and 10 for the 25. Walker to throw. Plenty of time. Across the middle, that's complete. Sammy Coates, nice gain on first down up to the 39. And again, this is what Houston's done. Nice plays up until midfield, and then they go backwards. First and 10, coming up from the 39. Nice gain of 14 on the first play of this drive. Coates, nice day for him. Three receptions, 41 yards. Walker to throw. Plenty of time. Across the middle again, that's dropped. Looking for Khalil Lewis. Wanted a flag. Not going to get a good defensive play by Dallas. Second and 10 from the 39. And again, it, it, we are just waiting for points. Second and 10 from the 39. In motion is Phillips. Walker to throw again. Plenty of time. We'll just check it down to Phillips. And they'll take it up to the 43. So now Houston is going to be stuck in a third and five, third and six position. The Roughnecks, they need a first down here. I mean, time is running down. Dropping a home game against the worst team in the league right when you're getting close to the playoffs is not something you want to do. Third and five. Walker to throw. Dallas brings a blitz. To the sidelines, misses a wide open Nick Holly. PJ Walker, inaccurate with the football. 
And again, he has just not had a very good day throwing the ball. Nick Holly is wide open to the sidelines and he just badly misses. Houston most likely gonna have to most likely gonna have to punt. Austin Reiko to punt it away again. Houston failing to score. Reiko will send it away. Flynn Nagel back to receive. But Reiko sends it too far. So Dallas will get it at the 20. And now the Renegades, if they can manage to get a touchdown here, they'll be up by two scores with a solid chance to get their first win of the season. That would be pretty crazy if they got their first win against arguably the best team in the league on the road. We'll see. This Houston defense is going to have to come up with a stop. Landry Jones with all the receivers spread wide. The throw is Jones. Across the middle, that's complete. Donald Parham. First down, up to the 31. The Renegades, they might have a chance at their first win, and it's pretty crazy to say that, but right now, the offense is looking decent. They're at least moving the football. Nice throw from Jones. Parham finally getting involved in this ball game. First and 10. Jones to throw again. Plenty of time. Now to the sidelines. It's complete. Flynn Nagel down the sidelines. A lot of room all the way down to the Roughnecks. 44. Flynn Nagel just squeezes by and gets a big play. Jones just throws it out in the flat, but Nagel, what a good job to tightrope down that sidelines. Nice block from Bedette. Give him some extra yardage. And now the Roughnecks. In a little bit of trouble here. As Dallas is starting to run away with things in the fourth quarter, which is pretty surprising. But it's happening. Jones gives it to Cameron Otters. Payne will be met, taken down at the 42. Second and eight coming up. The Roughnecks need a quick stop. Still a 3-0 ball game, under six and a half minutes to play. That is Artis Payne going backwards. What a tackle made. That's Demarcus Gates. He had a huge day last week, forced a fumble, couple big stops. Makes a big play there to push him all the way back to third and 11. Gates reads that one all the way. Third and 11 for the Renegades. Jones to throw. Can he get a big third down completion? This is gonna be interesting. Not a first down, but to the 39, fourth and five. Will they send out McGinnis for a 56 yard field goal? Cameron is paying on the reception. Houston does a good job of getting a stop when they need it. And yeah, I mean, Houston's defense is doing what they've been doing all season long. It, very strange that their offense has struggled so much today. Fourth and five. What's the play call going to be from Bob Stoops? They will punt it away. So, what a great drive for Dallas that ends in another punt. Gallix. Punts it away. Not a very good punt. Mobley takes it up to 16, so only 23 yards. And now the Roughnecks. A little under five minutes to play. They're only down three nothing. I mean, if they can just put together one solid drive, they'll win this game. But it is surprising that Houston has zero points with their, with all these weapons. Like, uh, Walker has just not been able to put it together. James Butler's had a good day. Cam Phillips has had a good day. Sammy Coates has had a good day, but Walker has not. First and 10 from the 16. To throw. To the sidelines. Almost intercepted. Tristan DeCoo had a chance at it. Dangerous throw. Second and 10. Walker just out of rhythm. And honestly, I mean, I don't know if it's June Jones or Walker, but they, they're just throwing the ball very short. And it's not working. Walker's got to find a way to push this ball 
down the field. I mean, Sammy Coates, Nick Holly, Cam Phillips, one of them has got to be open. The throw again is Walker. To the sidelines again, that's complete. Nick Holly, only a gain of five. Third and five, third and four coming up. It's, it's been a dink and dunk offense for Houston all game long, which is very unlike them. Third and four. Can Houston get a big first down? Walker to throw. He got plenty of time. He's going to be taken down. Tony Garrard again. Walker had a lot of time to throw. Holds on to it too long. Very strange that Houston is most likely going to lose this ball game. Tony Garrard gets in there. I mean, the line gave him enough time. Walker has got to just get rid of the football. He's got open receivers. Backed up again, 4th and 12 from their own 14. I mean, they're probably going to punt this one away. They will. Austin Recco. He'll boot it away. Flynn Nagel to receive. That was a nice punt. Nagel taken down at the 33. So Houston needs a quick stop. I mean, Dallas has played an absolutely atrocious game on offense. And they might get their first win of the season only putting up three points. Wild. We've had a lot of lower scoring games recently. And these offenses have just done a terrible job today. I mean, last week, Seattle beat Dallas 5-3. But Houston... Might actually lose to Dallas, even though Dallas is only putting up three points. They'll pitch it to Kaminara's pain. What a tackle. That's DeMarcus Gates pushing him back four yards. Gates read that one all the way. Huge play for the Roughnecks. That is what you call some solid defense. But it is mind-blowing that this game is 3-0. It really is. Second and 14. Ready, set. Set. Point set. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Jones to throw. Across the middle. How in the world did Flynn Nagel catch that football? What a grab. Scoops it up. Looked like I thought it hit the ground, but Nagel made the catch. Third and three. And the game is going to come down to this. Can Jones get him a first down? To throw. To the sidelines. That is complete. First down, Flynn Nagel. Unreal. The Renegades on the road might come up with their first win of the season. First and 10 now from their own 43. Houston has one timeout and the two minute warning. To throw is Jones. That is complete, another first down. Jeff Bidette, all the way down to Houston's 39 and the Renegades moving the football. What a weird game here in week nine. Jones to throw. Heavy pressure just has to ground that one. But this is, honestly, Houston, this is pretty pathetic of them to lose a game like this. Because at 6-2, and two, um, a win here would have secured them um, the first place in the XFL West. And now, with a loss on the horizon, they're going to drop to 6-3 and three on the season. 2nd and 10. Jones is throwing again. Why not? Across the middle. That is complete! Jazz Ferguson all the way down to the 19. Crazy. The Renegades. For the, fir for the first time, a team is inside the red zone. Let's go now. 
First and ten, we're gonna get the two minute warning. Two minute warning here in Dallas. The Renegades with a three nothing lead. First and ten. From the nineteen. Two minutes. Dallas has got this one in the back. Jones is throwing. Across the middle to the end zone. So close. Ferguson taking down the three. Dallas is trying to score another touch. Another. They want to get a touchdown. Ferguson, what a day! 94 yards. And Houston falling apart at the end of this ball game. This is strange. I mean, if Houston loses, they'll drop to six and three. If Seattle wins, they'll knock out LA and they'll improve to six and three. And then if Seattle can beat Houston next week, Seattle will get number one seed. So, lots of interesting factors. First and goal from the three. Let's see if Dallas can punch it in the end zone before they just decide to kneel it out. Artist Payne gonna go nowhere. Taking down the five. Honestly, I want to see Dallas try to score, but they're probably not. Second and goal. Good tackle by Houston, but again, what a wild game. And the fact that Dallas is going to get their first win of the season on the road against Houston, probably they're, and they're only most likely going to put up three points unless they find a way to get in the end zone on this play. And they could probably already kneel it out. Dang it. They're going to kneel. So all that, and they're gonna just going to kneel this thing out. That's sad. Jones takes a knee. One more, and we'll be done. They just won't completely be able to run it out, so they'll probably end up kicking another field goal. And... That is gonna be the game! That's it! Wild! The Roughnecks drop... Another game at home, 3-0, to the Dallas Renegades. This was a weird, very boring game. I mean, I don't know. I, I expect to see a lot more offense kind of sad when the final score is 3-0. But Dallas gets their first one of the season. What a game for them defensively, and offensively, they did pretty well in that second half. The Roughnecks, scoreless for the first time this season. They've got some problems heading into the playoffs. Flynn Eagle had a nice reception there, but what a weird... Weird ending to this game. Dallas improves to 1-8. Houston drops to 6-3 and three with a loss that really hurts. Um, just a strange loss. So 3 nothing is our final score here at the XFL Simulator. Thank you for tuning in to this game. Uh, make sure to go check us out on Twitter. We post a lot of solid content there. Just want to get a lot of stuff out there for you fans as well as our XFL sheets in the description below. Um, season stats, game stats, individual player stats, standings, power rankings, recaps, so much more. Make sure you go check that out. But yeah, that's going to do it. PJ Walker, I, I, really, I'm very confused at how Houston lost this game, but I don't know. Strange. 3-0 is our final score. Thank you again. This is James Larson with the XFL Simulated. I will see you next game as the DC Defenders take on the New York Guard.